Hi, a warm welcome to the shining stars of St. Francisco to our fast English online classroom. I hope that you are safe and doing well at home. I'm sure that I am familiar to you, even though let me introduce myself. My name is Arun and this year I will be your English teacher. Well, you may think that why I'm standing here, I mean out of the classroom. I think this place is familiar to you. This is our garden a park of our school. And see, actually, I was going to the classroom. I was going to school uh, to take this video. But on the way, I just reached here. And, you know, it was a little bit raining in the morning. So the whole garden was just filled with uh, raindrops. And I felt like uh, standing here for some more time because that much beautiful, actually, these plays are. And I felt like uh, sharing this beauty to sharing this beauty with you also. So that's why I have planned to take this video from here. And I wish to say thanks to Yusuf sir for this cooperation. And would you like to see the beauty of this nature? Then I will show you. Just see my dear children how beautiful your garden is. It is filled with uh, green colors, yellow colors, a lot of plants, flowers. And one more thing which is more beautiful for me, I just felt like more beautiful, you know what it is. These flowers, actually these flowers are filled with uh, raindrops. Can you see this? So that much beautiful these flowers were. So I felt like sharing the beauty of this garden to you. That's why I'm just uh, staying here for a few minutes. Well, but when I reach here, I miss something. Actually, it is you. Your presence, certainly your presence will make this garden more beautiful. So I really miss you. I'm just eagerly waiting for your presence to the school. Well, can I ask you one question? So I have already told you that I love to stay here for a long time and to enjoy the beauty of this nature. But is it possible, do you think? It is not possible. Why? Because I am a teacher, I have to go to school and I have a lot of responsibilities and jobs to do, to complete. And the evening I have to go back home. Why? Because as a son, as a brother, as a friend, I have many works to complete. Isn't it? And if it is you, is it possible with you to stay in the same place for a long time? No, impossible. Why? You also have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of works to complete. So for a human being, it is not possible to stay somewhere or rest somewhere for a long time because our life is very short and we have a lot of things to do. So if you want to take rest, just complete all the works and take rest. Have you heard a cot? Have you heard a cot that don't stop when you are tired? Stop when you are done. Isn't it? So focus on the responsibilities that you have to complete. And one more question let me ask you. Do you have dreams? I'm not talking about the dreams when you are watching while you are sleeping. But the dreams which will make you, uh, which will give you a force and energy to live in the coming days, for the coming days. Means your aims. I want to become a police officer. I want to become a favorite, sorry, a famous film actor like Dulko Salman. I want to build a huge house for my parents. So these are all called aims, your dreams. So if you have some dreams, what we have to do, we have to work hard for that, to complete, to fulfill your dreams. Am I right? And do you know, or you may think, why I'm saying these kinds of things to you, isn't it? Because in your English literature textbook, the first chapter is a poem. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening. That's your poem, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, is written by Robert Frost, one of the most famous English writer in English literature, Robert Frost. So this poem is very much famous actually, you know, huh? Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Before moving to the poem, let me introduce your textbook, Cherry, a nice textbook with a lot of beautiful pictures. And the first part means colored with violet is your English textbook. So when I 
teach something. When I take a poem, when I take this poem, you have to keep your English textbook with you. Okay, so please open your textbook, page number 10, of a poem, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. So listen, stopping by woods on a snowy evening. Some words are there, stopping, you know the word, and woods means small forest. Woods means small forest, and snowy evening, snow, you know well, I think, snow which will be there on the leaves of the trees in the early in the morning, snow, white in color, snow. In the picture also, you can see the whole place is filled with the snow. Winter season it was, so snow would be there. So anyway, in this poem, we are going to see a man and his little horse. The man is the main character and that man is the writer, who Robert Frost. And he is traveling on his favorite little horse. And he was going somewhere actually on an evening and on the way he stopped in a forest. In a small forest, in a woods. And by seeing the beauty of the woods, he also felt like staying somewhere for some time. I have told you in the beginning, when I was passing through the garden, I felt like standing here for some time. The same Robert Frost also felt water to stay there for some time. So he stopped his hose and he was just observing the beautiful snowy evening in the forest. Okay, so that is the poem we are going to see. So page number 10. First stanza. Let me read the first stanza. Means the first four lines. When I read, just keep the tip of your finger on the lines and follow me. Ready? Whose woods these are? I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch these woods fill up with snow. Simple. The first line says, "Whose woods these are? I think I know." Woods means, I told you, small forest. I know whose forest it is. I know the owner of this forest well. And his house is in the village. And the owner of this uh, forest is living far away in a village. Not here. Okay. The owner of this forest, owner of these woods is living in a far away village. And third line says, he will not see me stopping here. So, nothing to be tensed because the owner will not see me stopping here, standing here. Why? Because the owner is living far away in a village. That is why. And the last line says, to watch his woods fill up with snow. And what I am doing, you know, I am just standing in the middle of this woods and watching the woods are filled up with snow. All the plants, all the trees, all the roads and everywhere it is filled with the snow, white in color. How beautiful it would be. Can you imagine in your, just close your eyes and imagine that, that woods. So, Robert Frost, the writer says, he was just walking through. So he was traveling through the forest and in the middle of the forest he just stopped his horse and he is saying to you that whose woods these are I think I know. I know whose woods these are. Who is the owner of these woods I know. And his house is in the village though. Where is he living? Ah, in the village, far away village. So he will not see me stopping here to watch these woods fill up with the snow. So he will not see me watching here and observing the beauty of the snow in this woods. So clear? The first stanza says, our writer Robert Frost was traveling on a horse and he stood in the middle of the forest and he said himself that, and I know the owner of this forest and he is living far away distance in a village. So he will not see me, I am standing here and observing the beauty of the nature. That's it. I hope that it is clear, very simple and very beautiful too. So what you want to do is, first stanza is enough for us, to, for this class, just read that first stanza for many times and try to understand the meaning. At the same time, you should be able to imagine the picture in your mind. Okay, so let me give you a small activity also. Just write a small paragraph describing the beauty of your house. 
or describe the beauty of your garden and if you're saying oh I have no garden and my house is not beautiful leave it just describe the beauty of your school that's enough so write a small paragraph describing means explaining the beauty of your home or your garden or your school okay so that's all for today meet you in the next class thank you and bye